From what has been a career to remember, four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel looks back at some of his greatest friends and toughest rivals over the years in Formula 1. In this video, we're going to reveal who Seb names as the biggest natural talent in F1. Plus, we're going to look at some of the best Sebastian Vettel moments in F1. So stay tuned to find out. Up first, the biggest natural talent in F1. Even though Vettel's teammates include the likes of Charles Leclerc, Mark Webber, and Daniel Ricciardo, he still considers one of them to be the most gifted driver he has come across. In an interview with Tom Clarkson, Seb believes Kimi Raikkonen to be the biggest talent he has faced in F1. The 2007 world champion who has been one of Seb's fiercest rivals during his title run from 2010 to 2013 is also one of his closest friends after the two became teammates at Ferrari in 2015. According to the world champion, Kimi was a natural when it came to adapting to a car, and he has proven that time and time again with exceptional performance performances from five different teams. He believed that Kimi didn't require a lot of time to get comfortable with the car, unlike other drivers like himself. Seb jokingly said that it almost felt unfair when he compared the time he would take in preparation versus Kimi. While he would take countless laps to get an idea of the conditions, Kimi would just sit in the car and be ready in an instant. Up next is Seb's relationship with Kimi. During their tenure as Ferrari teammates, the four-time champion and Rakanen developed a strong friendship. Because Kimi was so honest and straightforward, Seb felt that he got along with the Iceman better than any of his other teammates. He further added that there were no disagreements between them. If they ran into each other, they would discuss what had happened, make amends, and maybe even laugh about it. He further explained how his relationship with him felt very natural. With others, he would be making conscious decisions in order to interact with them, whereas with Kimi, the conversation came very naturally. Now, let's celebrate some of Seb's best moments in F1. With Sebastian Vettel retiring at the end of the season, Season, we're going down memory lane to recall some of his best moments in F1. In his 15 year long career, Vettel has achieved 53 wins and has set countless records to date, some of which are not even close to being broken. He has given Formula 1 fans some of the most memorable moments in the history of the sport. From his historic win at Monza while driving for Toro Rosso to his most recent victory in Singapore with Ferrari, we're looking back at some of Vettel's finest moments on tracks that define the German for what he is a champion. Starting off, a star was born at the 2007 United States Grand Prix. BMW Sauber replaced Robert Kubica following his devastating crash in the Canadian Grand Prix. In comes 19-year-old Sebastian Vettel, the champion of Formula Renault 3.5. By qualifying in an impressive seventh place ahead of veterans such as David Coulthard and Rubens Barrichello, Vettel immediately established that he belonged in Formula 1. The rookie racer avoided the first lap accident that drove out world champion Michael Schumacher. Vettel put in a dominant drive, and although dropping back a few positions to avoid the mayhem, he still became the sport's youngest point scorer. While teammate Nick Heidfield was sidelined by a hydraulics problem, Vettel brought home a crucial point for his squad and showed his abilities to the globe. Up next, Vettel's first of many in Italy. After making the switch to Toro Rosso in 2008, things didn't get off to a great start for the young German. By the time they reached Monza for race 14, Vettel had retired from the first four races of the season and had only scored five times. Vettel was strong throughout the rainy weekend at Monza, finishing second in the third practice session ahead of drivers like Kimi Rakkonen, Lewis Hamilton, and Fernando Alonso. Wet conditions were also present during qualifying, where Vettel once again showed his dominance. The young German led the final two qualifying sessions, with McLaren's Heike Koalainen in second place, tenths of a second behind him. The race was held in the wet, and the rolling start allowed Vettel to avoid being caught off guard. The German swiftly extended his lead after he became familiar with the course. Throughout, he maintained his composure and held on to the lead while the other drivers made mistakes. He then crossed the finish line 12.5 seconds ahead of Koalainen, who came in second. Along with becoming the youngest driver to win a Formula 1 race, Vettel also gave Toro Rosso their greatest performance in F1 and their maiden victory. Coming up is his astonishing drive in Abu Dhabi. In 2012, when the Formula 1 season reached Abu Dhabi, the championship race was close. Vettel led Fernando Alonso of Ferrari by 13 points. Each point was vital with only three races remaining. The championship was wide open. Vettel's weekend in Abu Dhabi didn't get off to a fantastic start as he was awarded a grid penalty, which meant that he would start at the back of the grid, despite the fact that he had qualified third. Red Bull elected to have him start the race from the pit line, which was better off given the Yas Marina track layout in Abu Dhabi. Damage to Vettel's front wing occurred early on. On top of that, he later collided with the DRS sign during the safety 
50 card period when Ricardo swung too much, which forced Vettel to take evasive action. After making a pit stop to replace the broken components, Vettel re-entered the race in position 21, but from there on out, he was unstoppable. At a track where passing is typically difficult, he showed a masterclass. Eventually, he passed McLaren's Jensen Button for third place in the closing laps. His podium finish was not only a reflection of his skill as a driver, but also ensured that he would not drop too far behind second place Alonso in the standings. Next, so what happened against all odds in Brazil? Vettel led Alonso by 13 points before the 2012 season finale in Brazil, so Paulo was a must win. Both drivers were battling for the title in the season's last race. Vettel qualified fourth, which was disappointing, but Alonso was ninth. Light rain made a bad start for Vettel, especially with the title on the line. This was caused by Mark Webber pushing Seb wide at the start, causing him to get hit in the back by Bruno Senna. This resulted in him being spun out and ended up last. After a few early retirements, he began charging through the field. By lap 5, Vettel was in P15, displaying masterful overtaking. On lap 10, he was 6th, but the team called him in to avoid the rain. He started overhauling the field back again from P18. Race leader Nico Hulkenberg and Lewis Hamilton collided, putting Alonso in the title position. Vettel stopped for a fourth time on lap 55, but his team wasn't ready, so he restarted in P12, but he soon climbed up to P6. Fortunately for him, Paul Di Resta crashed and the race ended under the safety car, thus not allowing Alonso to make up any positions. Vettel became the youngest triple world champion by finishing sixth in one of F1's most exciting races. That day showed Vettel's brilliance, aptitude, and resilience to not give up, even when the chances were against him. Moving on, Vettel's display of pure dominance in 2013. At the outset of the 2013 season, Vettel and Alonso were locked in another title duel, trading victories. With Mercedes joining the fray, the 2013 season quickly became a three-way battle between Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes. Mercedes had won three of the first ten races, while Kimi Raikkonen's phenomenal results for Lotus gave the 2007 world champion a legitimate hope of reclaiming his title. The championship was still up for grabs as the action moved to Spa for round 11. From Spa on, no one was able to challenge Vettel, not even his closest rivals. He set every record in the book, winning nine straight races and bringing home his fourth straight world championship by the time he was 26. Finally, Vettel's win at his rival's home ground in Silverstone. In 2018, Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton traded victories for the better part of the first half of the season. By the time the races had reached Britain, Vettel led the championship by a single point over Hamilton. Hamilton scored the first victory of the season on Saturday when he qualified first in his home race and beat Vettel. On Sunday, however, Vettel made a count with a sensational start that allowed him to pass Hamilton immediately after the start. Things went from bad to worse for Hamilton as he crashed with Kimi Raikkonen immediately after. By lap 11, Vettel had a six-second lead over Bottas at Silverstone. However, on lap 21, a yellow flag forced him to make a pit stop, and Bottas assumed the lead. On lap 34, under another safety car, he made his second pit stop, while Mercedes left Hamilton and Bottas out to maintain track position. Vettel, riding on newer tires, closed down on Bottas and eventually overtook the Finn on lap 47. After that, he was able to win easily, and the fact he did so on his opponent's home turf made the victory that much sweeter. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you have any more recommendations that you would add to this list? Let us know in the comments below, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. But it just didn't look like generally you had the pace today.